Today I'm going to talk about graphics processing or how computers deal with pictures. Now there are two types of pictures that computers um, use. One is drawing and the other is painting. But I'm going to start off by looking at drawing. Now drawing uh, pictures are often called vectors, vector graphics. Now vector graphics use objects. Everything that uh, is in a vector image is an object, whether it's a geometric shape, whether it's an irregular shape, or whether it's a text box. Everything gets put into boxes or objects. And when you're using this type of file and you're editing them, you click on an object, you get little handles and you can scale it um, and so on. But that's a, a vector image. How do vector images work? How does vector graphics work? Well, every box is a secret invisible little grid and the picture is made up of coordinates within it. Okay, so vectors are coordinates. Now when it draws a picture it plots out the points on the invisible little grid and then it plays uh, dot to dot with them. It joins up the points and if there are any shapes that need colouring in it will colour them in and it draws the pictures like that. So a simple line here between 1.5 and 5.2 would be drawn like that. Um, and that's it. Dead easy. Just uh, little um, little coordinates that it draws lines between. Now one of the advantages of using vector images is that um, if you want to make it bigger you just make the grid bigger and then it plots out the points and it draws the lines fresh each time so you get a fresh image drawn between the points um, and it makes it bigger and you don't lose any quality because the lines are freshly drawn between those points. Um, and because you don't lose any quality when you uh, make it bigger, we often find that um, clip art images are actually vector graphics because uh, you don't know what size you could, your clip art is going to be used at when you're designing a piece of clip art. How do you know whether they're going to use it small on a little business card or they're going to use it big on a, a nice big massive um, A3 poster? You don't know. So you, you use vectors so it can be scaled and drawn fresh and not lose any quality. So that's vector graphics or drawings. I said we'd also look at painting. So what are painting images on a computer? Well, they're often called bitmap images, bitmaps, um, sometimes called raster images. Um, but basically, a bitmap image is just made up of little points of color. And you'll have used bitmaps if you've taken digital pictures with a digital camera, um, or you've used um, a little scanner and you've scanned in a picture. They are bitmap images that the... Um, that your camera or your scanner produces. Now those pictures are made up of little squares of colour. Those squares of colour are called pixels. Now each one of those pixels needs its information storing about it. What colour is that pixel? So for a picture here, now this is meant to be that line that we drew uh, when we were doing our little vector, that uh, 1, 5 to 5, 2 line, that little straight line. Now you try and draw that with pixels, you're not actually going to get a very straight line at all because you're trying to make it up of out of squares. Um, now if you look at this one, it looks more like a flight of stairs than it does a nice straight line and that's because our pixels are very big. Now when we store this image, every pixel is saved. The colour of it is saved in um, in the file's memory. So this picture would be made up of white pixel, white pixel, white pixel, white pixel, white pixel, white pixel, new line, white pixel, blue pixel, blue pixel, white pixel, white pixel, white pixel, new line, white pixel, white pixel, blue pixel, blue pixel, white pixel, white pixel, new line, white pixel, white pixel, white pixel, blue pixel, blue pixel, white pixel, new line, white pixel, white pixel, white pixel, white pixel, white pixel, white pixel, new line, white pixel, white pixel, white pixel, white pixel, white pixel, white pixel, end of file. And that's what it stores for that. And that's a pretty rubbish picture. And our line isn't very straight at all. So how do we make it better? How do we get a smoother line? Well, we have more pixels in the same size picture. Like that. There we go. For every one pixel we had before, we've now got two. Um, that's across. And then for every 
one up we've got two so that turns out that every one pixel before now takes has four pixels uh, to color in the same amount of space but we get a smoother looking line but we've got to store more information this picture is made up of are you ready for this white pixel 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 new line white pixel 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 new line white pixel white pixel blue pixel blue pixel white 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 pixel new line white pixel white pixel white pixel blue pixel blue pixel white pixel do you get the idea so much more space is taken up by these uh, by the increase in number of pixels but we are getting a better quality image and obviously if we increase the number of pixels so that line was nice and smooth uh, we're getting loads of pixels to make up the picture and that's a load of space uh, when it comes to uh, saving the file now let's have a look at this um, in action here's a little picture now can you tell who it is Probably not. We've got uh, one pixel per inch uh, um, in this picture. So you can see that uh, there's three pixels across the bottom, which means it's uh, three three inches and it's four and a half pixels up. So that would be four, four and a half inches in height. And you can see there we go. That's quite a difficult to, to see who it is. And that's because it's low quality, but it's a tiny file. Let's uh, increase the pixels per inch. Let's double the pixels per inch to two. So for every one pixel, there is now four pixels. Can you tell who it is yet? Uh, difficult to see, really. If you squint, does it help? Not really with that picture. Let's move on. Let's go for four pixels per inch. Who have we got there? Can you tell? Hmm give it a squint maybe you can see it's somebody isn't it I don't know let's uh, uh, let's have a look at uh, nine pixels per inch I think you could probably guess now who that is uh, let's go up to 18 pixels per inch 36 pixels per inch and then finally 72 pixels per inch it is of course Barack Obama and 72 pixels per inch is the number of pixels um, that you would find uh, when presenting images on screen so if you're doing a web page and you want to save an image uh, you probably do that at about 72 pixels per inch if you're printing on paper probably 150 pixels per inch and if you're doing a nice photo um, from your photo printer maybe uh, we're talking about 300 600 pixels per inch for 600 for the really really high quality sort of printouts uh, so there you go more pixels per inch uh, the better quality the image but how about size when we save that to disk how much space does that take up well here we go look at that 72 pixels per inch takes up 248 kilobytes compared to 9 pixels per inch at 36 kilobytes you can see a massive difference in size and also a big difference in quality so more pixels per inch better quality but bigger file size now let's go back to those pictures we were looking at before the little ducks well how many pixels are in those there are millions millions of pixels in those little bitmap images of ducks now why is that these were taken by 10 uh, a 10 megapixel camera so we're talking about 10 million pixels in every picture um, that's a lot of pixels but as you can see uh, nice quality um, in the pictures and lots of detail and I doubt you can see any pixels or jaggedy edges that make up those pictures so there we go that's pictures that's how computers deal with painting and drawing when it's dealing with graphics <laughs>